TJ Flex. You are the winner of this one. Um, thanks to everyone who participated in our last giveaway. Um, so TJ Flex, um, shoot me a message and I'll get this one out um, to you. It's a Moak flat face, nine inch. <clears throat> um, we, we've just made a few of these. They've been been branding them and they've been looking good. Um, we're probably gonna eventually go into production on these, but made a few extra, so let you try one out, TJ. So again, thanks everyone for um, entering our last uh, YouTube giveaway. So this video, I just wanted to. Um, I think I'm gonna do kind of like a series of what we do um, with with the fish we catch. So kind of like a catch and cook um, type of a deal. And so this one, um, I just wanted to show you what we do with the, I guess like the rough cuts of the ahi, the parts that we don't give away or sell. Um, so hope you guys enjoy this video and um, please like and subscribe it. All right, guys. No tank. It's a high tank. Smoke, uh, that's Marlin jerky, Bloody Mary. It's a uh, Sunday here, so. It's a. Uh, I wanted to show you guys what um, we do with the leftover, um, not really leftover, but the cuts of the ahi that normally we sell it or we give it away and you know for that we, we try and give and sell the best pieces and then mostly you fishermen though, you, you're left with whatever's left, you know, the part kind of close to the head that doesn't make a nice cut or maybe the last eight inches by the tail where it starts to get stringy and stuff like that um, and as well as the head and the collars most times people will take the collars and the belly um, but not too many people take the head so I'm gonna flip this around and show you what's in the trigger all I'm doing is I'm not I'm not making smoked fish for say like have with beers like you know jerky I'm more making this to feed my family so I got it in um, eating style chunks and all that is is salt Hawaiian salt pepper and some uh, a coating of olive oil and there you see After you smoke it, you can just peel off all the meat and then um, you can also whatever's left, all that gooey stuff like by the eyeball and and all that. Tank, get out of there. Um, you can make soup with that or at the very least, as you can see, I got two, two big dogs and so I just mix, you know, um, all that gel gelatinous galagales in with their food along with some of the meat and just try and make use of the whole ahi um, as much as possible so uh, when it's done in I don't know, six hours or so I'll show you how it comes apart all right guys 
right, so this is about three hours later. Should have did this before, but what I did was I took one of these cubes and threw them in the bowl. And with the fork, I just shredded it up. And now I'm gonna add some mayonnaise and maybe a little bit of salt and pepper and make tuna sandwich for my son for lunch. Cause it's lunchtime. This is the mayonnaise we use at our house. It's avocado oil, it's non-GMO, um, it's simple ingredients, it's not all kinds of crazy chemicals and shit, so I'm not affiliated with these guys at all, I wish I was because this mayonnaise is pricey, but add in your mayonnaise. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do both at the same time. So I'm gonna mix it and I'll be back. This is how you make sandwiches on the boat so that you can eat just one. But that's homemade kimchi that my wife makes. Yeah, no, that's not yours, that's Dada's. Somebody in Hawaii will give me mad props for kimchi, homemade tuna, homemade kimchi, homemade tuna sandwich. Is that mine? That's yours, you have no more kimchi inside, huh? Mike. No, not kimchi. I don't know how to. Yeah, that thing's, we gotta check it later. It closes funny. Huh, take a bite. Hmm, <laughs> bite. Um, that's the shot. Okay, that's all. Sutomu, premium big game fishing lures and offshore apparel. Our lures are handcrafted in Hawaii and proven around the world. Discover the beauty of Sutomu lures and let us help you put more blood in the box. Sutomu, the Hawaii Fishing Company. Okay, I'm just gonna let him open. Kinda like a turkey. So I'm just gonna basically dig out all this meat. And like I said, um, we can eat it. We can give it to the dogs. Um, it smells like crab actually. 
our lobster. And I think it's because this is where our, a lot of the fat and stuff. So, uh, you people looking for omega-3 fatty acid. It actually smells like crab. Fatty acid, fatty fats, fatty oils. This is where you're gonna get get it from. So we got all that meat out from the, that was just the top of the head. Um, okay. You can pause it and then restart it. Pause and stop. Stop. Okay. So this skin is really hard. Um, but I don't know if we should show this. Just the eyeball below. Oh, well. My people are gonna get offended with the eyeball. You know, people. But anyways, again, all behind here is another big chunk of meat, right above the eye. And then all in here is still stuck. I don't know. Um, if you're not a fish person, um, this might be kind of nuts for you, but all this stuff inside here is like the inside of... Um, you know when you eat crab or lobster, you're either the type of person that likes the tail or you're the person, type of person that likes inside the crab head or the lobster head. All that yummy stuff in there. That's what that is. So even after we pick out all the meat, there'll still, because it's a lot of connective tissue and, you know, for as long as we've had that on the trigger, I think like six hours, it's still moist in here. Um, so instead of struggling to get this out, what we'll probably do is get a big pot and then boil it all down. Um, so I guess we'll do that and then we'll show you that. But there's still a lot, you can still make soup out of what's left here. So um, you got all that meat and then you still got more It's kind of like a crab. You, if you if you pick through all the bones, you'll find little treasures of of meat and good stuff in here. So I'm gonna break the rest of this down and then um, get it ready for the pot, and we'll be back. Doesn't matter if my face is in there. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, when we when we cleaned this fish or when we filleted it, we cut the jaw right down the middle because that lower half of the jaw doesn't really have anything. So this makes it a lot easier when you put it in your pot or when you're gonna smoke it or some guys, some people barbecue it. I'm not, I, I took all the meat off of this side if you can see right through. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go much more than that since we're gonna boil it. But out of that, I probably got solid two pounds of good, good meat. Um, and now we'll make some broth with the rest of it. Okay, so into a very large pot. Um, if you're looking for a pot like this, I'll put the description, um, the link in, in the description. But fits the whole head in there and now it's just gonna boil in there for another, I don't know, three hours or so. And then we'll um, pick at it some more. So we'll be back in a bit. 
So these are bags of um, smoked ahi, vacuum sealed. I'm gonna freeze it for future feeding. Oh, I should hold the camera this way. There we go. No need buy canned tuna. Throw them in the freezer. And so my soup is done. Um, if we weren't in this whole quarantine time, I would probably go get some celery and maybe carrots and some simian noodles or udon noodles, but I'm just gonna do it like this since we're on lockdown. But uh, how you're gonna do now is take some of that head meat and that's actually the eyeball socket. Add it in there. I like to get these dark pieces of meat first. Add that in there. A lighter piece. Add some green onions. There you go. Like I said, it's it's a lot like pig's feet soup or oxtail soup. Um, if you take the time to go through the process, you'll get a really good soup at the end. Hi, boy. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one. Um. So that's what it looks like. And I forgot to tell you. Now's where you add all your ginger, your salt, your pepper. Maybe a little bit I'll show you, but you can see all that basically fish fat has broken up in the soup. Um, and again, looks a lot like pig's feet soup. It's completely yummy.